Serbu. See what he can do for me. All right, once we made it inside Serbu, we are greeted by Steve here. Uh, this is Steve fixing my Serbu after I broke it, shooting double lot buckshot. Uh, as you all know, I do abuse the hell out of this gun, but uh, Serbu didn't care. They still warrantied the gun, no questions asked. Uh, so that is nice to know that uh, buying an NFA item, uh, it is backed by a company that uh, holds high customer satisfaction. So uh, buy once, cry once with uh, Serbu here. And here is Mark Serbu uh, explaining the manufacturing process for the Serbu Super Shorty. There's a special fixture. We spin it up and thread it, re-thread it. Uh, then we engrave it. And then the whole thing gets you know, blasted and pulverized. And the, the Remington, the Mossbergs that are aluminum, we just engrave them. That's why the Mossberg, the writing is, is silver on a black background because we just engrave it. We don't touch it. We don't get them re-anodized. Mm -hmm. And you build, this is all in, this is all in-house. Yeah, we make this part, make all this stuff, we, we weld it here. This gets, on this, the 3 plus 1, we don't modify this lug, mm -hmm. but on the other ones, they actually get modified and they just get welded to the barrel. And this is your new option where you thread the barrel and have to... Fairly new. A little while, a few years. But yeah, a lot of the police departments use these for it's a it's a Royal Army breacher. Mm -hmm. That way they can just stick it against the door hinge and right. it use it gets traction and the holes around. blow out the yeah, the breaching rounds are uh, powdered lead and it right. dissipates instead of bouncing around on them. Cool. And these are all super shorties awaiting uh, stamps or uh, completion. Completion here. Just waiting on uh, yeah, like the barrels are getting done or the parts like these as you see we're in there making the, the little hinge right now mm -hmm. so. we'll go show that in a minute we'll go show the hinge being built all right here this mill is currently machining the front pivot for the vertical grip on the servo super shorty uh, shotgun series here's Ramon setting up the mill to machine the gas blocks for the BFG 50A uh, semi-automatic rifle. Here's a beautiful sight, some uh, BFG 50A semi-automatic receivers uh, getting ready for final assembly and uh, shipment out to the uh, lucky customers. This is where Mark gets inspiration. Yeah. In the break room. Nice. Gotta have it. Nothing like alcohol and guns, right? No, we can just grow some. As long as you're smoking a cigar at the same time. There you go. E. Explosives? Yeah, we get some of this tanner in there. The uh, BFG 50A receivers just came back from nitrate coating, and uh, as you see here, they just came in today. And uh, yeah, I, I got everything I need, so let's go. You good? <laughs> I mean, is this inconspicuous? <laughs> so, you are an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> got machine oil all over my fucking hands now.
M60 wins. <laughs> God damn, dude. Look at that. Shoulder fire it. My grandpa used to door gun with this. Test fire here. Got this little pea right, shooter in the uh, MD5. Gary, Gary machine gun. Ready? Fire in the hole! Fire in the hole!